Hey guys, this is Darko. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will share with you picture tips for Panasonic's HX800 series. I will be demoing this on Panasonic 58 inch HX830E model, which I got for testing. And I will share which picture presets are the best for watching general content and also gaming and show you menus for SDR signals. So, Let's get started. I did calibration using Kelman 2020 calibration software. I also used C6 colorimeter and Meridio Fresco 6G pattern generator. Along with that, I used several test disks in order to test picture processing, local dimming and so on. So I'll start by pressing menu button on the remote and going straight to viewing mode. Here you have different picture options. By default TV will come in normal mode and there are also dynamic, cinema, true cinema, custom, sport and game. I calibrated game and true cinema but even before doing calibration true cinema was the most accurate and it was practically calibrated out of the box. So I highly recommend for watching content. If you don't want to bother yourself with calibration, then just select true cinema. And once you have it selected, adjust backlight to the level you prefer, depending on how much light you have in the room. And later on, I will also show you some additional controls that you can use to further tweak the picture. Next is contrast, which is white level. It was accurate by default, so I left it at default 90. Brightness is black level control, very accurate at value zero. But of course, for your environment, maybe you will need to tweak it. There are free patterns available online or some test disks that you can use to adjust this accurately for your unit. Next is color, which adjusts saturation of all colors. It was very accurate by default at 50, so I kept it like that. Tint adjusts hue of colors, also very accurate tracking of BT709 color space, so I left it at zero. Sharpness I kept at default 30 because this is a neutral value without any artificial sharpening. Of course, for lower resolution content, you might want to increase this value. Color temperature, target is D65, 6500 Kelvin, at warm 2 is the most accurate. Next we have vivid color, which I turned off. Next is adaptive backlight control, which I recommend that you keep turned off, because if you enable it, TV will add global dimming, so dark scenes will appear darker and you will lose details. And I was only able to see two zones. one on left half of the screen and other on the right half of the screen. Even though Panasonic is mentioning local dimming, in fact, there is nothing local about it. Ambient sensor, so this TV has sensor that will automatically adjust brightness of the screen. So if you want that TV does this automatically, you can turn it on right here. HDR brightness setting is only available for HDR content. So we will skip it now. Next is noise reduction. So to reduce noise in picture, uh, whether it is from film or some old content on the tape, you can reduce it quite effectively using this control. MPEG remaster I turned off because I couldn't see any benefit out of it. Uh, so no need to, to be turned on. Uh, same goes for resolution remaster. Of course, for low resolution content, you can try enabling it and see if it will make a difference. Dynamic range remaster, this will do in real time SDR to HDR, but it's practically not visible, so no need to turn it on. Intelligent frame creation, this is for interpolation. I use it at min because this will give smooth 24p playback without artifacts. If you boost it to mid or max, then you will see this soap opera effect. So, you know, for accurate movie viewing, 
to have Hollywood at your home, then I recommend either min or to turn it off. Clear motion is black frame insertion and it does very subtle improvement of motion resolution, but it will dim the screen and if you move your eyes across the screen and you have some white objects on it, you will see rainbow effect. So I just recommend to turn it off. Next we have advanced settings menu with contrast control turned off, color gamut for BT709 you should keep it at normal because auto will oversaturate colors same as native so keep it at normal. In case of HDR auto and normal act in the same manner. There are also white balance controls, I will not show my values, uh, just keep everything at zero unless you have calibration equipment. You have dark and bright area and also 12 points for adjustment. Next is color management where you can adjust for primary colors hue, saturation, luminance and hue and saturation for secondary colors. Gamma here in my case, my target was gamma 2.2, so I obtained it by se selecting 2.3. But of course, depending on your viewing environment, you might select some other value. There, there's also more detailed adjustment in 12 points if you have equipment and you want to fine tune the curve. All right, going back, next we have option settings where you have game mode, so within through cinema you can also enable game mode and benefit both from accurate picture and from low input lag as low as 13 milliseconds which is really excellent result so very responsive panel for gaming otherwise for movies for interlaced signals and so on turn off game mode then there are different options depending on input which you can adjust and also a plenty of options for HDMI content including RGB range so we can fine-tune picture and incoming signal here. Screen settings very important here is that you turn off overscan otherwise picture will get zoomed in and you will lose details and sharpness. Picture button setting very handy feature if you like to quickly toggle between different picture presets so for example if you want to have true cinema and game and if you don't have menu on the screen by pressing picture button on the remote you can quickly toggle between presets whether it is for dark room and bright room or for movies and for gaming in any case very nice very handy feature copy adjustment this feature will copy everything from certain preset to other inputs so very easy to copy everything and finally reset to defaults clearly will reset everything back to default for viewing HDR content I recommend also true cinema for HDR 10 and HDR 10 plus content and for Dolby Vision the most accurate is Dolby Vision Dark these are picture presets I recommend that you use and as picture is practically calibrated by default, you can just do small tweaks and you will get really beautiful picture, great gradations, great sharpness, great contrast out of this LCD screen, of course, within its limitations. And what is really nice is that you can disable global dimming, unlike some other TV manufacturers that simply do not give you this option in user menus. So bravo to Panasonic for adding this feature. Overall that's it for this video. I was very happy with how controls reacted and with calibration result. So I would say standard performance for Panasonic. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have some comments or doubts, just let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.